Hello. We are slowly concluding our inventory tutorial. Tutorial for game inventory system. And in this uh, video material, we will work with uh, GIS graphic inventory system which are introduced in some of our uh, previous videos and this will be good to look it again to remind yourself and in this one we will continue with this complete uh, code for um, this lesson is in GD script so we will not use our um, Godot interface for creating nodes only script and uh, from script we will generate everything needed for inventory system also this is game developers tutorial every beginner are welcome here to spectate and I suggest you don't try this because uh, you can be encouraged but I can uh, suggest suggest to you to read from uh, read and learn from uh, my books you have it in description there are um, GD script book uh, making games with GD script autonomous car also explain GD script and you have a lot of beginners tutorial other thing uh, I can uh, tell you before we start uh, with uh, this lesson is um, mastering a Godot book a pre-release pre version is uh, ready you can uh, download it uh, via link i put it in description of this video this uh, version uh, will be free for you any uh, money donation are optional and uh, i strongly suggest to any beginner and also to developers to use this um, tutorial on um, 60 70 pages with very good uh, material about uh, Godot game engine and uh, I hope you will understand uh, how big uh, will be mastery Godot book when you read this material and uh, I only can uh, tell you that Mastery Gold boot book will come soon. And uh, without further ado, I will start with explaining this lecture. First, uh, I suggest you to create a new scene and a 2D scene and uh, to put uh, our um, graphic uh, generator uh, this part of code uh, in this one and also don't forget uh, useful uh, variables uh, like this one here and this one also we will add uh, some other variables uh, like uh, status on move in is empty and also this uh, array uh, with inventory system uh, need to be here so first uh, write uh, this uh, function part of the code or copy paste it from previous uh, lecture and uh, write this uh, this variables also some of them you can copy paste with this uh, written you will need to create um, something like this not completely this but something like this you will get uh, 
some elements for uh, for our uh, uh, inventory system in this part we will explain it uh, as simpler as it is possible with only text because i really don't want to to uh, put you in a, in a, in a in a complex programming situation uh, with images right now and so we will use just text here and when you see that this uh, generator for uh, graphic inventory system work if you copy paste it it will work just put right variables after that we can uh, program some part in functions as you see in the previous code we have these functions when one button is pressed like uh, this one here so we have some buttons and when we click on some button we uh, will uh, get uh, in output window button one is pressed for example and in our situation we will uh, create uh, one uh, function called status uh, in every uh, generated function here we will write uh, number of the function so if button 0 is we will write that uh, variable n is 0 and we will code, call this function status Ex I will explain it later so uh, in this uh, next part we will need all of variables here so inventory array status variable on move is empty variable uh, this one is a uh, boolean variable this is string and array variable gore it's up so on every function we will write something like this number and calling of status function why because we don't want to write the same code in every button pressed we will need hundreds and hundreds of lines so we want to put it simpler and uh, now i will try to explain you what this code needs to do when we use inventory system we select some of element for example this element when we select it this element is on the move and if we want to put it somewhere else we cannot if this uh, space is occupied so if this space is not free you cannot move it here but if, but if some space is free you can move it for example this water bottle if you want to put it back you will again click once and click on another field so you need a field which is free without any content to move element if you don't have this field you can uh, put it back or in some other field which are free so this is our goal to select element to move it in some place and put it there if place is free and as I say before, this will be explained text textually. And now let me explain it, this famous function status. This function is not so complicated. First, we will use this variable status. And this variable will have three conditions. So three element switch initial condition will be zero one when some inventory part is selected and also we will use condition two first whenever status is activated this variable will be changed which means one of inventory element is for a move then we will create one variable and this variable will be text of this button in our situation but this will be text of some inventory element text for the move 
which will be moved in another place. But when will uh, when will be option for movement? Only when place for movement is empty. Is empty. So we need to check it somehow. How to do this? We will use this string function len for checking how many string are in how many characters are in some string so in this string how many character are and if this number of character is higher than one then this L, uh, this uh, field is not empty so is empty false why because text in this field are not empty here we have empty field how many characters zero here field are occupied how many characters five plus one plus six so too many characters 12 characters what will our code say what our code will say if is more than one empty false else empty is true so whenever we have less than two character space is empty for movement okay now we have this variable is empty and in our situation if status is two but only if status is, is two something is happening status is not ready to two for now status is on condition one okay if status is one on move so element for movement will be this element this element is text on field so if we select here water bottle will be element for movement now this character here on move will be e equal this then we uh, set uh, blank space for uh, button we pressed and change status to two so status is zero status is when pressed here status will be first one and then change to two and this will be empty so this is here first it will be empty and status will be changed to two and now we can explain it this part status equal to so only when status equal to this will be happening when i click once here status is now two but nothing's happened if i click again and status is two something will happen what will happen this on movement text will be on another field in our situation on another text for a button what this means this means when status is two we will use get node which node this button node because this is button zero this will be button zero if is button one this will be button one because we move variable n and then we will set text don't forget to use str to convert integer to character and this variable on move will be moved and after that we need to put status to zero look complicated but can be easy this is one of solution of course if you have uh, some problems when created this then i suggest you to just uh, write it as you see here
and now I will show you complete code. Uh, so there are variables. Here is a ready function. After that you have button pressed functions. If you want to use all button pressed functions you need to write numbers. Here will be number 3, number 4, number 5 and call function status. For example you will uh, create something like this. So here will be number 3 and states. And on the end you need function status with this code here. Okay. And again, before I conclude this video, so we have one empty field, other field have uh, some text data or numbers. From uh, with empty field you cannot do anything, but you can try to experiment with this. But with um, some field where you have something, for example this, you can try to put it somewhere. Okay. This uh, will be good uh, introduction for a uh, few of our uh, last lectures from this uh, tutorial for creating inventory system and generator for inventory system. You can create inventory system uh, on um, with some other uh, code approach which can be very long but this little bit uh, complex code can give you solution is in uh, less than 50 60 lines so i wish you good day thank you for watching if you have any questions put it uh, on uh, comment below if you want to support support click like or whatever if you think uh, our portal need more views continue with uh, embedding or sharing this video and don't forget to download the uh, mastery godot pre-release pre book i think this will be good for now i wish you all the best and goodbye